Hello friends, uh, this is size 10 straight chunk hook. Thread is block. I'll explain all the materials as I go along. So just start from below the eye. And come back. The hackle I'm using, this is a block hen and huckle, dyed block. So I took the feather. You need a larger fiber, you know, because this is a rock fly, so, you know, on the choppy water, if you go in for a brown trout, even rainbow trout, works really well. So if you catch this like this, I normally do that. And then I'm gonna go towards Towards the bend, I'm just going to take away this piece. And you touch and turn, keep going. Tail. So this is a Chinese cock hako dyed yellow. So if you can see the top end of the fibers are very nice and stiff. So if you can just gently stroke, stroke them backward and take away that middle piece off. That way you can have a nice tail. Stiff tail, you know. Um, I need a little bit bushy tail so what I'll do, I'll clean this side so I can have a nice and straight tail. So as you can see, and then when you put this on the hook, actually cut this off so we don't have this in the way, you know. If you catch this here, make sure it's a, it's a little bit body, longer than body length, you know. And that's in fact too long. Take your time. This is still a bit long, so like I said, take your time. I'm going to stroke this, uh, wet this so they can sit properly. Once you wet them, That's enough. Sorry. That's better. In fact, I'm going to take this body length. And I'm using the Mirage tinsel. This is an Opal Mirage tinsel, large size. Um, just for the body to uh, uh, create a flushy body, you know. So catch it same time. Again, take your time and then come back towards towards the eye by using touch and turn keep going unwind your thread open it up and So once you've done that, just level up the body. And for catching the ribs, I'm using this as a mono thread, you know. You can use about one and a half pound, two pound mono thread. So because I don't want, I want flashy material, you know, to be a visible but no ribs so these this is transparent so you won't be able to see this and it will look much better so catch that same time all the way and just the hard work is here on the and then once you finish with that you know then you're okay because i need to make a body nice and thick so this is why 
I'm using this material. So as you can see, that's better now. And put this one away, and all you have to do first thing first, bring your flushy material first. And, and you can overlay this, no problem. Keep coming up. When you tie patterns like this, just take your time because every pattern you use huckles, they take a little longer. So once you've done that, I'm going to catch this here. Make sure it's secure. And then take away this extra piece. And then stroke everything back and make sure you, I'm just going to take this off actually. Black thread is in the way. Okay, now just get your huckle plier and then bring your huckle first and make sure you kind of leave nice enough gap so we can see the ribs catch it with the mono thread each turn make sure you don't drop any fiber and that's it now stroke all this back and I'm gonna kind of finish with this thread first. I don't want to get too many wraps. Just do about three turn because I'm going to use black thread again you know. Uh, that's better. Looks okay. Now I'm going to stroke everything back so I can have more easy access. Black thread now again. I need a little space here so I can put another huckle there. Okay. The next huckle I'm using, this is a orange grizzly hen. It's a nice orangey color and it looks really nice in the water and works really well, you know. Uh, basically, actual pattern, Kate McLaren's, we use brown, but this is orangey. So this is kind of variation we are making with of the Kate McLaren for a lock fishing. Catch this. Stroke everything back, secure it properly. And I'm going to take this extra piece off. Doesn't matter. Um, again, huckle plier. And it's easier with the huckle plier. Now, all you have to do is stroke all these fiber back and then just wrap them gently, take your time. We need a few turn here so make sure you use longer huckle for the uh, longer Grizzly huckle actually, brown huckle or whatever you use. We need a decent size of head. So, sorry, I'm just kind of 
take your time again like I said need decent head and whip finish and that's ready now and now you can work with this hackles and everything see how it looks before you varnish it I mean that looks okay to me more bushy great pattern for the log style fishing and varnish So there you have another one of my variation of Kate McLaren great pattern for lock fishing and I hope you enjoy this video. Thanks for watching.